Hey, hey, hey. It's your boy. It's me. It's Jesus. Um, and uh, the Nintendo Direct happened like a little over three hours. I guess it happened less than three hours ago because it was still going on. It started about three hours and 11 minutes ago, but details. What I'm trying to say, it's over, but I haven't seen it yet. I was sadly busy and not even at home while it was going on. And I have since avoided all social media and other things that might spoil me, so I have no idea what's going on. And that's uh, that's important because we're going to go in here as if it was happening live. But one thing I forgot to prepare, which hopefully won't take long, is uh, the the timer. Is this the is this is this it? It is okay. Timer is up here when I need it. There it is. <clears throat> so with that, I can, you know, put the timer on screen for when we actually start watching. For now, though, we got to, you know, we got to make some predictions, say what we're hoping for. And um, that's what we're going to start with. Oops. Yeah, I am misclicking. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I think we can divide what I have, what I want, into two categories, and that's um, hopes, brackets, um, um, somewhat realistic, and hopes, probably not, sad face. The sad face sadly doesn't work so well with the... Actually, if I, how about I do this? No, wait. Uh, sure. Nah, the, the sad face is implied. You understand. Okay. So. <clears throat> um, I don't know why I put that... Oh, I guess it's... Uh, ah, I see, I see, I see. Hold on. Let's... Um, Where's the alignment thing? No, not centered, but left. There we go. Okay. Also, I guess I should probably turn on some music, huh? Because otherwise... Ah, wait, but if I do that, then... Then I will hear it too. Via the... You know, over the, over the stream, which I don't want. So I guess, so sadly, we're not going to have any audio on stream, which also reminds me I need to... Mute the desktop audio so I don't accidentally stream the um, the stream because I don't think you're allowed to. I don't dare to check right now if they allow for you know putting this the footage on your own stream because I feel like if I Google anything with you know Nintendo Direct, I will get spoiled. So we're just gonna not put that uh, stuff on stream on screen, and it'll be cool. Yo, Mars. <clears throat> I'm about to watch the holy crap! Why is the text so uh, the chat so big? Whatever, it's cool. Um, I'm about to watch the Nintendo Direct. I haven't seen it yet, so no spoil spoilers. So, uh, what I hope for, which is like at least somewhat realistic, is for example, um, Zelda, Wind Waker, and um, Twilight Princess HD. Um, ports. Like, I don't see why this hasn't happened yet, and I feel like it's about time. I think this could happen, right? It makes so much sense to just put these versions of the games in nice HD graphics <coughs> on a system that people actually own. I have uh, Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. It's, it's nice. And uh, maybe, you know, with these ports, maybe they can make some adjustments, because while the Wind Waker port was really nice, the they changed some like some of the visual stuff, like they added this bloom effect, which looks kind of nice, but on the other hand, the flat colors of the original are definitely also really good. So it would be nice if you could toggle them on or off, so you can choose what you prefer. But gameplay-wise, I definitely say the HD version is just better. So. 
please give us that. At Twilight Princess HD, I actually didn't uh, get to play. Um, I watch a lot of anime. But not like on TV, but you know, I watch it on my PC. Other than that, I don't watch a lot of series. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think those could happen. Something that I'm gonna put into realistic, but I'm not getting my hopes up, is um, if you know me, you, you're probably expecting this. Please, please, I need this. I need them to re-release Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Switch, or maybe if they're announcing a Switch 2 or whatever, then on that, so that people can, you know, find out how good that game is. And then, down the line, we can get Xenoblade Chronicles X 2, which I'm not going to put in this list, because I don't think there's much of a chance. But the Xenoblade X remaster, just a port... Nothing fancy. I think that's within the realm of possibility. I think that can happen. <clears throat> so those are the two main things that I was thinking of. Um, what else could there be? I guess we could get some Metroid Prime 4 stuff. Like some news about it, right? We heard that it's confirmed, right? It's been in development, at least supposedly, for quite some time. So we could hear about it. I don't know for sure, but we could. Um, <clears throat> I guess other Metroid news. Could be anything, right? Some kind of... I think uh, so far we only got a Metroid Prime 1 re remake, right? It was a straight-up remake on the Switch. So maybe they'll also remake 2 and 3 possible or maybe they remake some of the 2d games i don't know <clears throat> anything's possible being very non-specific about this one because you know if i'm if i were to be more specific it would it would probably go into the probably not section but any metroid news i think is possible <clears throat> um one thing that i fear probably won't happen is uh, um, a new old school Zelda. You know, a Zelda that's about item progression, dungeons, that good stuff that kind of used to define the series more. I really want more of that. And I hope they will continue making that alongside the new formula, which is also fun. But I don't want the old, you know, formula to vanish. I, li I, I love those games too much. I'd be really sad if we didn't get any more of those. And I know there's other people developing similar games out there. But uh, for one, like, I can barely find any. What the hell? And for two, you know, Nintendo has that golden touch. They've made the best ones of them. I hope they make more. <clears throat> but... Currently, I feel like they're probably not going to announce anything like that. But I guess something they could announce is, um, like, you know, other Zelda remakes, masters, you know, remakes or remasters. That could happen, maybe. Hmm, my favorite anime. Um... I really like Nietzsche Joe, for example, but also like, hmm. I, I like nowadays. I'd say it's more like one of my favorite manga, like JoJo's. But you know, the the anime got me into it, and I also really like, I really like uh, things like Natsume Yujincho and um, Mushishi and um, Girls Last Tour stuff like that. Spice and Wolf currently. I also watched the original back in the day. Like stuff that's kind of chill and just tells nice stories. Isekai anime? There's some good Isekai. Like um, Mushoku, Mushoku Tensei. That's a good one, right? 
I like that one. Um, oh dear. What else? I guess, um, Smash? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that, maybe we'll get some Smash news. Probably not, but it would be cool. Maybe if they, you know, why don't we put this here? I think the reason I'm putting this here is because, um, is because they said a while ago that we wouldn't get news about the next hardware until like the second half of the year or something. I think they said that. So I don't think we're going to get anything this time. But just in case, I'm going to put it here because hey, it would be cool to learn something new. <clears throat> going to drink some water real quick. So, but yeah, um, if we were to get a new Switch information, then maybe an, uh, some Smash info would be would make sense, because it makes sense to have a new Smash game on the next uh, system. But if not, then I don't think we'll get anything Smash related. But it could be that they announce some new characters, surprisingly, or you know, a remake, a remaster of Melee with a rollback netcode. And some good uh, balance changes. There's no way that's happening. But it would be kind of awesome. Even though, like, the scene, the scene of current melee players would absolutely hate any balance changes. They could be the greatest balance changes in the world. They could make the game 100% perfectly balanced. But the people still wouldn't like it because it's different and people dislike different. But I would like it, because I think better is better. But of course, you know, if they made balance changes, who knows if it, would, if, if it would actually be better. That's wishful thinking. That's also why this is down here. <clears throat> um, What else could I wish for, or I uh, hope for, rather? Um... Hmm. What are some Nintendo series or something that I like that haven't gotten any love in a while? Hmm. Or like Nintendo related stuff. I don't know. I guess how about Zeno Gears? Saga um, remasters, something like that. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure none of that will happen. But who knows, man? All right. I think with this we have pondered enough. We have speculated enough. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna start watching the actual thing. Um, first, I gotta find my timer. Here it is. Okay, so <clears throat> gonna start watching from you know just the from the from the link from the video on YouTube at zero zero right now. Gonna start watching in. Okay, I'm gonna go three to one zero, or rather, I'm gonna go three to one go, and on go, I'm gonna hit play. Okay, just for anyone that cares to sync up. So three, two, one. RPM, yes, Barbie, whatever. My hopes are not too high, but I am, you know, I'm hoping for stuff. I guess that doesn't make sense, but hey. Okay, Mario. Cool art style. Nice and colorful. Yo, Fiber. <clears throat> wow, he's doing the um the coyote thing. Hilarious. Oh, Mario to the rescue and their hands are glowing. Mm. 
Mario and Luigi. Oh. <clears throat> you, uh, if you liked um, the original Mario, or if you liked any Mario RPG, you should definitely tr pl uh, try Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. That one is fucking amazing. But yeah, this uh, looks good. But please, um, I didn't know it was a Mario and Luigi game before you said that, so please don't spoil anything. Pew. It, uh, like, it was on screen like a second after you said it, so it's not a big deal, but yeah. Full extension. That sounds kind of lewd. Ooh. Cool hammer combo. One of the things I prefer also about the Mario and Luigi RPGs over like Paper Mario and stuff is that you can completely avoid damage rather than just lessen it. Because unavoidable damage is one of those things in turn-based RPGs that I just don't really like. It's you know, par for the course most of the time. But I prefer being able to completely avoid it. I think it looks nice. Boom! Mario and Luigi. Brothership. Wow. I wonder if they'll actually, you know, get on a ship and float around. Hello, Ta uh, hello Takahashi-san. They do have to. Yeah. I agree. Oh, seafaring adventure. So I guess it's almost it's basically confirmed, right? Uh -huh. Ah, yes, right. The World Championship NES things. What an interesting bit of uh, video game history. But I guess that's changing that in a bit, uh, a bit to like be more modern or something. Or I guess they make they're making it something else entirely. Maybe just inspired by the that old thing. Yeah, I guess they're making a new thing. <laughs> but right, there used to be actually like these weird championship editions of some games where like it was one cartridge with like multiple short versions of these games where you could get high scores or some shit. Wasn't that a thing? July 18th. Oh, hey, a gold cartridge. Classic. And yes, remix. Hmm. Some fairy tale stuff, okay. You know, when I first. I never watched the fairy tale anime, but when I first read the manga, I always felt it was kind of generic, and I kept reading it because it's entertaining. But I always thought of it as a generic anime uh, manga, like shonen, basically. But honestly, after I've read and seen some other shonen, that is like truly just so generic that it almost upsets me. I can't really say that about Fairy Tale anymore. It's not the most original shonen ever, but compared to some of the competition, it's really not that generic. It has generic elements, but it's definitely not down there. It's pretty entertaining, honestly. If you are into Shonen. If you're not into Shonen, you're not gonna like Fairy Tale, <laughs> pretty much. Like, you know, there's Shonen there where even if you don't usually like like the genre, you might like them, like One Piece, for example. I don't think that's the case for a Fairy Tale. But hey, some Fantasian Neo dimension. Okay. I guess a non-Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. 
because it sure looks like Final Fantasy. This Vam person looks a lot like um, Vincent. Just as a woman, which makes makes her way better. And the protagonist looks a bit like um, the near replicant guy. Or some near character, I guess. Wait, with that voice, maybe you're not a woman? Looked like looked like that character had boobies, but maybe I was I saw it wrong. Or maybe they just have, you know, a male voice and a female body, that's cool. I don't think so, but who knows, man. <clears throat> Spoko Square, wow. Sports! Oh, dunk. I didn't have basketball in the sports thing? That's kind of crazy. Like, if you think of, like, the sports, basketball would be one of them, right? You know, the sports that people play. Oh, well, it's in there now. Or gonna be. Arm wrestling. that like a really old peripheral or something in arcades I don't think I recall that oh arms ha 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 hilarious okay what's this <clears throat> could be anything at this point Something's breaking out of some kind of wired contraption. Okay, I think I've seen this before, maybe. Ooh. <clears throat> maybe not. But it has a pretty nice look about it. Like a sketchy, like hand-drawn type look, but clearly, obviously, it's, it's 3D cell shaded. But it looks pretty good. Looks like it has some nice movement. Challenging platforming, probably. Arm wrestle like a guy. <laughs> yeah, okay, so my guess was right. Was right. <clears throat> Mio, Memories in Orbit 2025. Okay. That seems nice. Oh, hey, Disney Illusion Island. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, obviously. But wait, wouldn't wouldn't Neo be the sequel to Mio? So wouldn't Mio be the, you know, the prequel? Because it's MN, not NM. So yeah, it's got to be an origin story of Neo. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Cute. Ah, oh, very cute. Looks adorable. Oh. Looney Tunes, Wacky World of Sports, even more basketball. See, they got basketball in right at the start. <clears throat> oh, and builds. Funny. <laughs> Up. Oh. Among Us. New roads. Like, I haven't really played any of those games yet. 
but I always find when watching them that it's more funny when there are roles involved. This also looks like fairy tale. I guess the artist behind um, fairy tale is working on that. Okay, okay. Oh, they got they got field work in this one. Oh, and from the plants grow wolves. Okay. Wolves do grow on trees, I guess. Maybe money does too. Oh. I played a little bit of the first one, but not much. Farmagia. Could be cool, I guess. Kong, oh, okay. That looks like that, uh, you know, when they made the, the... Yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns. It now returns in HD, wow! No, no, for Magio, far Magio. Very different. Original content, do not steal. Hmm. I mean, hey, Donkey Kong Country, you know that, uh, I mean, that's you got some great graphics, you don't need to remake that. Wahoo. I didn't actually play these. Or right they made like two of these, I think. The Donkey Kong Country Returns. I think. I didn't play them. But they look pretty good. Oh. Next year. Early next year. <laughs> Snap. Oh, I think I recall the time is nigh. I know what I think I know those through that drawing, that art. But I'm not sure from where. Oh, I guess it's a uh, right a Dragon Quest remake with those uh, Octopath Traveler esque graphics. The hour of awakening draws near. It's a good look, so you know. Why not Dragon Quest Three HD Two D remake? Yeah, HD Two D. That's that's what it's called. Kind of a silly name, but you know it needed a name, I guess. That look, I mean. <laughs> Some cute girl just came out of a of a, out of a jar. That was cute. Mm -hmm. It does look nice. Like the sprites are great, and the the way they. Blend, maybe not blend, but they the way they kind of don't directly blend into the background, but it looks like it fits well, it looks nice. Might be the best looking HD 2D that I've seen so far. Not the most original name though. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake is literally the name of it. Like, I know there's plenty of so-and-so HD, but I feel like HD 2D remake is, like, too much of a mouthful. Oh, I guess they're adding something else to that now. 
Experience the complete Erdrick trilogy. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D remake. In 2025. Wow, okay. I've only played one Dragon Quest game. And that's, I think, 11. The one that everybody likes. I thought it was good. Not spectacular, but good. But good. The DS one, huh? Was there only one on the DS? Hmm, that's a shame. <laughs> Wait, what? Apparently you're supposed to play... Sorry, I accidentally paused the video. Now the timer will be a little off. Whatever. Um, apparently you're supposed to play 3, 1, 2 or something in that order. But whatever. I probably won't play all three of those. But who knows? Maybe I'll play three and then think, wow, this is the best thing ever. Or maybe I won't. Snap. What the fun in Funko? Hmm. Yes. Funko Pops. And the graphics look like they are on a... on a smartphone. Play with more than 60 characters that all look the same. I'm sorry, I don't want to be a, a hater. <laughs> but, man. Oh well, it could, it could be good. Yeah, they are... not... not the best. In my opinion. A smorgasbord of spooky. So we just mentioned 2 HD. I played the original on the 3DS. I was like the only person in the world who did, apparently. Literally the only person who ever played that game. It's good. It's a good game. Temperman. This looks charming. Free to play. Huh. Free games are nice. Metal Slug as a tower defense. Eh. The sprites look really nice. But I don't think I like this idea. But I don't like tower defense in general. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's probably some very uh, deep, important lore. Oh, hey. Darkest Dungeon 2. Yeah, and all towers. Outlaw towers! They've caused more harm than anyone can account for. Everyone really likes Darkest Dungeon. I never actually played it, so I can't really say too much about this. Hey! A Link to the Past and Four Swords, that game I did with my Game Boy Advance thing. I wonder if they'll ever re release um, Four Swords Adventures. That GameCube game. I played it, it was nice. Hmm. 
Mature 17 Plus collection for the N64 or Turok, I see. What else? And... Killer Instinct, I guess? Perfect Dark, oh yeah, ah, right. Everyone was always asking for Perfect Dark, weren't they? Can't say I really played that one. But everyone always wants it. So maybe this is huge news to some people. Ah, the, 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 the Skya art style. I always really liked that art style. But never really got to play any game with it. This looks nice, visually. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero. Tactical turn-based battles, just like as uh, what I know of this guy. Yeah? yeah. Oh. oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Another one for next year. Capcom. Oh, Marvelous Capcom 2? I see. Sure, why not? Probably won't have rollback netcode, will it? Well, they haven't shown Magneto yet, so I couldn't make a comment about that yet. It's literally impossible. Yeah, there's Marvel too. All online. They haven't said anything about the netcode. Yeah. Bit 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 bit. I should have let that song play for longer. Do dip do dip. That's the best thing about Marvelous Capcom 2 is that song. Bit bit bit. So there you are, welcome to a bigger, bolder Mario Party. Okay, sure. Mario Party's cool. Not, you know, I don't tend to have uh, people over, at, uh, like, physically or whatever, so haven't bought one in a while, but, you know, Mario Party's cool. I do want to be taken for a ride. Du -du 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 -du. They're always trying some new stuff with the with these games now, you know. Trying to change up the formula to be different, which makes sense, right? If you want to play the old style, you can just play those old games. Golden Goombas. All kinds of mini games played in all kinds of ways. Well, wow. hey, there's the the arm wrestling mini game. <laughs> True, but I mean they have like remade some of the games, right? Or like this in this one, they're saying they'll have you know some maps from Mario Party One and Two. So this one looks like um like it's probably going to be a little more you know like those. Maybe. <laughs> Jamboree. Oh, 
Also, I think they have the Mario Party 1 and 2 and whatever on the N64 thing for the Switch, right? So it's technically easily available. The biggest Mario Party. Bigger is always better. <clears throat> Uh -huh. That looks like some Zelda. Ayo. And it looks like something I haven't seen before. Like the art style is like the Link's Awakening remake. But it doesn't look like Oracle of Seasons or Ages, I think. From what they've shown. Ayo. Ayo. Fighting Ganon. Beating Ganon. But Zelda is still stuck in a crystal. Link is getting sucked into some dark abyss. But he's show shooting his bow to free Zelda. Is Zelda going to be the playable one? I'd be down with that. <laughs> Zelda, what a new joke. Ah, she's running away from the expanding abyss. She's falling, tripping. But it looks like she's safe. Yo. Now people can finally make that joke about how Zelda is the is the character that you play again. Which is always funny. Zelda, Legend, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom? Yo! Yo! AG, my boy. Yeah. Hell yeah, Zelda confirmed for protagonist. Hmm, new gameplay style. I will. Thank you, Aonuma son. Stolen away. Ah. Try. The try rod. Cute. Okay, she can make a table. Okay. Uh huh. I'm getting worried that this is some kind of building shit. Please don't be some building thing. That looks like, you know, you use those things that you can create in, like, you know, not building cities or whatever it weighs. Well, that's cute. Oh! Summon enemies! Okay, summoning one of those spinny bits, that actually seems fun. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, okay. There's definitely a lot of hope here. My worries have been mostly um, alleviated by what I'm seeing here. Yo! It was great, AG man. Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, hey, a really neat looking switch light. 
which I'm not going to get, but it looks really neat. <laughs> so that looks really cool, but it also doesn't really look like an old school type Zelda game. A few more headlines. That dancing game. Why we? Just Dance 2025 edition. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm sure this is nice. Comes out in October. <clears throat> right, that Lego thing we saw during the Summer Game Fest. It's, it's whatever. I'm guessing the combat will be more fun than in, in the original. The fearsome Thunderjaw! <laughs> Come on, give me something else exciting. Stray's coming to the switch, I guess. No, kitty. But we know it's going to be fine. Never played this game. But I wouldn't be opposed to trying. But if I were, I probably wouldn't play it on the Switch, though. You can even tell from this trailer that it looks a lot worse than on the other systems. Some kind of Hobbit game. Sure. Don't think this is going to be for me. I wonder how relevant the Middle Earth aspects are going to be in this game. Because from the footage, it, it might as well just be anything. Like, right, they could just be like, okay, well, they're called hobbits and there's some references. Like, look, there's Gandalf. But maybe they'll do something interesting, something that could only work with or within that world. I don't know. Ace Attorney. 
I guess the investigation duology. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I played those, and until I until I played it on on stream, I thought I hadn't played the second one, but I totally had. Haha. <laughs> But hey, now I played it twice, that's fine too. But hey, nice that the second one is finally getting an official release outside of Japan. That's really nice. But oh yeah, the HD, they actually, yeah, drew new sprites for this. That's that's cool. And they look really nice. Wowee. Definitely didn't, didn't expect that. If I have money by the time this comes out, even though I don't really feel like playing them again any time, like soonish now, I would support them just to support them. September 6th. Oh. Um, Danganronpa art style. Surely just gonna be uh, staying a mundane. Oh no. One of these two is gonna die. At least one of them. Oops. Almost kind of sounded like that mascot thing was talking, was saying this stuff just now. The weight cut in and its mouth moved. Despair, you say? Hundred Line Last Defense Academy. I guess this could be cool. The gameplay it looked a little wonky, I guess, but who knows? Can't say I know much about Romancing Saga. Or Romancing Saga 2. Glimmers? I'm excited now. I lied. <laughs> that was a cutie just now, sitting on that throne. So excited. Almost. Come on, come on. Come on, be something nice. Please. Don't fuck with me. Cosmic Year 2069. Galactic Federation Research Facility. Uh huh. Mm hmm. That sure looks familiar. Though also a little different. Oh, who's that? Couldn't be some kind of bounty hunter, could it? Now, is this four or... I don't think this is two, uh, two or three remake. So I think it's got to be four. 
Looks like it's not motion controlled, by the way. Like, you know, the, the, the aiming, I mean, by the way it's moving. But who knows? Trailers could be trailing us. Scanning. Alien morphology space pirate. Subject is heavily injured with a reduced combat ability. Etc. Morph ball. Very reminiscent of the previous Prime games. Yeah, they definitely men meant to uh, make a game that's that's like Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Mostly 1. Which is fair, because that's by far the best of the three. Metroid Prime 4! Beyond. Alright. Cool. It's not like Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Switch or anything, but it is really nice. Ooh, and this looks great. And that music there. 2025. All right. That looked nice. It has been a very long time. <laughs> I wonder if they'd push it on to the next hardware or something. Because they said just said 2025, not early 2025 or something. I feel like um, it might be better if they release it on stronger hardware. If there is such a possibility. But hey, who knows? That's the end of the show. Let's go through the list of things that we, that I hoped for and see um, what what happened. <clears throat> Zelda Wind Waker, uh, oh, I, I didn't get a slash in there, what the hell? Whatever. Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD ports. Um, yeah, none, none of that. Xenoblade Chronicles X Remaster. Um, Metro Prime 4, we got that one. Other Metro news? Nope. Other Zelda remakes, masters? Um, no. No, but, you know, that's, we got something else. A new old school Zelda? No, but we got a new Zelda in a new style. So I'd say this kind of counts. Nothing about Smash. Nothing about new Switch. And certainly nothing about the the, the 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 remaining Zeno saga. So we are two for um, a bunch. Sweet. <laughs> I guess I can get rid of the timer here. And... So, you know, we didn't get a lot of the stuff we hoped for, but we did get a new Zelda. How old school that'll be remains to be seen. Probably not very, but still, looks very interesting. Zelda as a playable, as a main playable character, is really interesting. Is there, a, I guess, there's a singular trailer. There are lots of uh, you know individual trailers. Let's watch this again. Oh wait, you can see it. I'm I'm guessing it's fair if I show the show just the trailer on stream. Um. Where... Oh, wait, I gotta go to the other window. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's watch that. Together. Look, it's Link. Or is it? Well, yes, yes it is. But there's Zelda, stuck in a crystal. And there's Ganon. That doesn't look like the Master Sword. But I guess in Link's Awakening you don't get the Master Sword. So maybe this is that Link. Even though I guess the town that you go to isn't... I guess it couldn't be the one from Link's Awakening because uh, that one kind of, you know... You know, if you played it, you know. So I guess this is... I mean, it could still be the same Link, just he ended up somewhere else. But anyway, Zelda's like, no! Ah, I tripped! I'm doomed. No, wait, I'm okay.
There's a nice looking world. Lots of trees. Echoes of wisdom. It's my boy. My best friend, Eiji Aonuma. <laughs> it would have been cool if she just wielded a sword, though. Though her being some some interesting mage is also cool. Something that would be interesting, if um. If there was a new game plus in which you do play as Link, and they specifically did, it, and he had like specific tools of his own, like a hookshot, a bow and arrow, a sword, and they specifically designed the world, or like changed it just a little bit in the new game plus, where he can traverse, you know, and get to the important spots, you know, in his own ways, that would be cool. Kind of like how some of the Castlevania games, the Metroidvania type styles, uh, style type games, have concessions like that, you know, right? How you play like. You can play as Julius in uh, Aria of Sorrow, and he has his own movement abilities and ways to get around stuff that Soma has to find, you know, his ways around. Something like that would be really cool, but might be a little much to ask for. Just a thought. at this point I was worried like okay they're showing her inside a building doing this like what but luckily it doesn't seem to be limited to just you know being inside or in a village or some shit so it seems kind of weird but in, a, in an interesting way yeah water blocks uh, are certainly interesting Seems like this world might be really hard to design. Like even harder than Tears of the Kingdom, maybe. Since you can just stack stuff and climb infinitely. What a dummy. This is a little... Uh, like this part, that looks fun. But summoning other monsters, I don't know. Might get a little passive. Who knows though? Very early to say. Uh -huh. Put that thing on your head and let it shoot at the direction that you walk. Sure looks like it. <laughs> September 26th. Definitely the highlight of the entire show for me. Let's also rewatch the Metroid Prime 4 trailer. There it is. But first, let's give this one a like. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, Mario, Bro Mario and Luigi Brothership also looks neat. So we got like three new games in here that speak to me. Mio also looks interesting. Um, but only Zelda like really 
you know, really intrigued me. But let's look at this again. Mm. Well, I do have to say, though, like the um, something about the visuals looks very, like, sterile. Like, maybe it's, like, too clean or something. I'm not sure how, what exactly, like, how exactly I mean that, honestly, but, like, it's just, uh, I don't know. It looks a little too, too clean. Sterile, I think, you know. I use that word for word first, and I think it, it kind of fits. Like, if, if it stays that way, it's fine. It's not, like, you know, ruining my, my experience, I guess. But, I don't know. Something's off. Boom. I guess the other complaint might be that it's, like, they are maybe trying to stick too closely to the, you know, Metroid Prime 1 design without trying to make much progress. Because I think the the aiming style that they introduced in, you know, Metro Prime 3, uh, 3 with the, like, you know, the Wii aiming is better. <laughs> I think that's better than, you know, what they had before. And you can also do that in the Wii ports of Metro Prime 1 and 2, right? So hopefully they can strike a balance between, you know, the stuff from, from Metro Prime 1, which is clearly the best of the three, but also the improvements that were made in the series and also in general. I hope they don't just go too hard on the retro thing, right? The original team that made Metro Prime was called Retro Studios. I don't know if they're also working on this. But I hope they don't take that name too literally. Yeah. That's about all I got to say, I guess. <clears throat> And um, I guess that's going to be that for the stream, eh? Glad I didn't uh, get myself spoiled on anything happening here before I watched this. And uh, glad I could share my experience with you. So thank you for watching, hanging out, and uh, learning how to create tables out of a tri rod or something with me. And I hope you'll join me again sometime. Wait, what's this, by the way? Did this show up? Maybe in a previous thing. I think this is from a previous indie showcase. Probably. Because I, I know about this game, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you'll join me again sometime. I'll probably play more Withering Waves, because I won't be home from Friday to Sunday. So I definitely won't be streaming on Friday and Saturday. And probably not on Sunday either. So I don't want to start like something, something bigger, I guess, and then be gone for three days. Which is why I'm gonna just play probably Wuthering Waves and I don't know, something shorter term until the week is over. <clears throat> so join me on that on those quests. It'll surely be a blast for everyone. That includes you, obviously. So, uh, yeah, until then, Otsukaresama, or bye-bye.